puppy. You're always just purring, huh? Hey guys, it's Jasmine and that was Puppy. And today we are going to break down five reasons why dry cat food or kibble is pretty much the worst kind of food that you could ever feed your cat. Now for those of you who have been here for a while, a lot of these things may start to be like a broken record, but it has been highly requested. And I figured hopefully this could be something you can use to share with fellow kitty loving friends who still happen to feed their fur babies dry food. Before we get started, let's kick things off with the meow out of the week, which goes to two people again this week. So to Reptitan888 and M, thank you both so much for your comments and your ongoing support and for being a part of the Cat Lady Fitness family. Puppy and I appreciate you so much. And if you would possibly like to be next week's meow out, then all you have to do is make sure you have subscribed to Cat Lady Fitness and leave a comment below on this video and then just tune in next Saturday to see if you are the meow out of the week. Let's get right into it. Here are five reasons why dry kibble is horrible for your cat. Reason number one, cats are built as obligate carnivores. Most dry food out there is full of grains and fillers, but felines are meant to only eat meat and always have been. This can be confirmed by looking at the diet history of their great, 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 great grand cat saber-toothed ancestors, but also by looking at their not-so-distant cousins, for example, lions and tigers and leopards. But it is also confirmed simply by looking at a cat's anatomy and physiology. If you look at your cat's teeth, they're prominently canine teeth, which are meant for puncturing, gripping, and tearing. You may have noticed this already when actually watching your cat eat, but they don't chew their food. First of all, they don't have the proper dental setup for it. And secondly, their natural instinct is to rip and swallow in whole chunks. The texture of your cat's tongue is also specialized for a hunter and carnivore because it's covered in these teeny hook-like gripping projections meant for scraping meat and tissue from the bone or whatever animal they're eating. Which is also exactly why when your cat licks you, it kind of feels like a mild dermabrasion because it, it kind of is. And please do, do not mistake that for actually trying to get your cat to lick your face as some economical spa treatment because that is not a good idea. Now when comparing your cat's stomach to other carnivores, it also shares similar characteristics. A cat's digestive system is not only incredibly acidic when compared to omnivores, for example, but it is also incredibly short when compared to any other species. The high acidity is what helps to break down the nutrients efficiently in your cat system, specifically protein and fat, but it also helps to protect your cat from the potential bacteria and pathogens that could be present in whatever food or animal they're eating. And having a faster digestive transit time due to the efficient breakdown as well as the shorter actual digestive tract keeps your cat lighter and more agile in order to hunt and capture prey. So in a nutshell, it's pretty clear that cats are historically and physically hunters and literally built to eat meat and not crunchy dry cereal. Reason number two why dry food is horrible for your cats. Cats need moisture in their diet. Some of the most common health issues when it comes to domestic cats involve organs like the bladder, so for example, urinary tract infections or UTIs, as well as the kidneys. As a lot of you may know, chronic kidney disease or CKD is super prevalent. Or of course, there are other digestive issues like constipation. What is the main culprit in these issues? Dehydration. If you're feeding your cat a dry kibble only 
only diet. You are doing them a complete disservice when it comes to their health. And you're also doing them a disservice when it comes to their natural instinct. Did you know that cats inherently have very poor sensitivity to the sense of thirst. Along with this, cats are actually designed to gain and get their water from the food that they're eating and not from a separate source. And while wet or raw cat food has at least 70% moisture, dry food or kibble has only about 10%. This means that if you are feeding your cat a dry food only diet, they're almost guaranteed to be dehydrated to some extent. And as a result, they're more likely to suffer from the diseases and ailments that stem from dehydration, like the UTIs and bladder issues and like CKD. And I go into this particular subject in much more detail in my video entitled, Is My Cat Dehydrated? And also in the video, Why Isn't My Cat Drinking Water? So if you wanna check those out, which I I highly suggest that you do. I'll make sure to link them in the description below. Reason number three why you should really rethink feeding your cat dry food. Cheaper food equals higher medical costs. Speaking of diseases and ailments, Cats who eat a dry food only diet have been shown to have more medical issues and to go to the vet more often. Let's do one of my favorite things and draw a parallel between kitty nutrition and human nutrition since you guys know that's my original specialty. Preventative care should always be a priority and that's just not to keep you healthy but to keep you out of the doctor's office. In other words, by investing a little bit more upfront, by purchasing nutrient-rich whole foods and by maintaining and even building your immune system, you will less often be unhealthy or sick. If you base your diet on cheap commodities of processed or artificial convenience foods, your body is more likely to give you those signals that it's struggling, whether it be through chronic colds or sickness or potentially more serious diseases. The same goes for your cat. By feeding your cat this cheap filler food that is void of moisture and proper nutrients. You may be saving money initially, but you're going to be making up for it once their little furry bodies start showing signs of distress or disease. This will only lead to more frequent vet visits and medical intervention, and we all know that those visits to the vet and any kind of medical treatment that our beloved feline fur babies need are not cheap, especially if they start to add up. Reason number four why dry kibble is the absolute worst thing you can feed your cat. Dry kibble does not satiate your cat. You know what else has become prevalent in domesticated cats? Obesity. And you know that is a legit problem when there actually exists an association for pet obesity prevention. Now, I also do have a specific video on this subject entitled, How to Help My Cat Lose Weight, which I definitely suggest checking out if you happen to have a chunky feline fur baby. But in feeding your cat a dry kibble only diet, and especially if you are free feeding your cat, then you are completely going against your cat's instincts. One, because cats aren't meant to graze like pasture animals, like cows or goats. Cats are hunters, and that means that they are meant to capture and then feast and then fast. And two, because dry kibble does not contain the proper nutrients in order to fulfill your cat's nutritional needs, your cat won't ever inherently feel satiated or fulfilled and as a result will continue overeating this food that isn't providing the nutrients or fulfillment and you can see how that steamrolls into a larger problem which leads us to reason number five dry kibble lacks the proper nutrients for your cat even if your dry cat food formula 
states that the vitamins and minerals contained within it meet the standards of the Association of American Feed Control Officials, there is still a high chance that your cat could suffer from a deficiency in some vital nutrients. Essential nutrients like taurine and B vitamins are super important to your cat's health and function, but they are also very sensitive to depletion and losing potency in the production process of making dry food. Not only that, but other ingredients that are actually commonly used in a dry food formula can prohibit the absorption of these essential nutrients. For example, studies have shown that an incredibly common ingredient used in commercial dry and wet cat food actually measurably prohibits the absorption of taurine. As it was determined in this study from the Journal of Nutrition in 2002, diet formulations with normally adequate taurine supplementation may actually be deficient in taurine if rice bran or whole rice is included as an ingredient. Despite this study being over 15 years old, if you were to go to the store right now and look at basically any commercial dry cat food or even wet canned cat food, there is a strong chance you will see rice or rice bran in the ingredient list. And if you want to learn more about how important taurine is, as well as other nutrients like B vitamins, then I do have videos on those as well in the Cat Stuff playlist. All right, guys, that was simply five of the numerous reasons why dry kibble cat food is pretty much the worst type of food that you can feed your cat. And now I want to open the discussion up to you guys. Did you learn something new today if you have been feeding your beloved feline fur baby dry kibble? Or have you recently or at some point transitioned your cats from dry food to wet food only or even better to the raw food diet? And if so, I would love to have you guys share the benefits or changes that you've seen in your cat's appearance or behavior. And if you're still asking yourself, okay, so I get it, dry kibble is horrible for my cat, but what's the best diet that I can provide my cat with? That would be moisture rich, nutrient dense, species appropriate raw cat food. And if you are new here and want to learn more about raw cat food, including recipes and how to make it at home, or additional benefits, how to calculate portion sizes, or meal frequency, or if you even want access to a recipe or portion calculator, definitely check out our website catladyfitness.com because you'll be able to find those things and a whole lot more, including answers to the most commonly asked questions, which I only hope can encourage you and make you feel more confident in your decision to transition your cat to a raw food diet. I also invite you to join us here at the Cat Lady Fitness family because we do put out a new video every cat or day and you can join us by just clicking that subscribe button below as well as the little bell icon right next to it because that way you are sure to get notified whenever a new video or community post or anything goes up. We also share bonus videos throughout the week. And speaking of bonus videos, I'm gonna let you guys know that there is one coming out on Monday and you do not want to miss this one, which exclusively features puppy as well as science, perhaps even into the realm of cloning. Okay, I'm just gonna stop talking now because I've already given away too much. Please remember to click that thumbs up if you found this video interesting or helpful and to share it with any other kitty parents that you know. And now, let's see if we can be graced with puppy's presence. Oh my gosh, perfect timing. Look at us. Hi, honey. Are you excited for Monday's video? Oh, nubs nubs. Say hellos. Let's get a close up look. You're squirmies. Why are you so squirmies? Okay, well, that's something. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you next week. Bye.